If you use AI for content creation, this video is for you. Hey, my name is Julia Schürer. I'm from Germany. I'm running an online business and I help people to create better content. Once I figured out that I accidentally trained my AI so it's really sound like me, I decided to help people do the same. In this video, we are talking about how I trained my AI, so it really creates content that not sounds like a stupid robot. I think we all know the one moment when we read an email or a social post and immediately know that this wasn't written by a human being. We all know these AI power words like evoke or embark on a journey. And if you don't want to embark on a journey ever, ever again in your life, then stick to this video. When I transitioned to the international market back in 2023, I faced a language barrier. I couldn't say what I wanted to say. I couldn't express myself because German and English are so different. The way I say something in German is very, very different like the way I would say it in English. I started just typing in the piece of content in German and asked ChatGPT to just translate it. I had no idea about phrases. I had no idea about how many wonderful words are in the English language. I just wanted to push out a piece of content. And I ended up with content where people immediately smelled 100 kilometers, 100 miles away that this piece of content was written by ChatGPT because it has all these power words. I embarked on a journey 100 times. Do you know what? I didn't even know that it's ChatGPT. I thought this would be a phrase in English. But luckily, my lovely mentor and friend, Evelyn Weiss, pointed me and she said, Julia, your content is way too polished. People will see that it's not like you. And when you want to sell content creation, you need to create the content by yourself. And I was like, hmm, okay. Then I sat down the next time and tried to write my content piece in English. And do you know what? It turned out that I was super blocked and I, I couldn't type any word. And then I started using the dictation function and just talking what I want to create. I turned on the dictation function and said, hey, I want to create an email and I want to talk about this. And then I told my story and then I thought, hey, what if ChatGPT would ask me some questions? Then I started creating prompts for content creation, prompts that helped me to pull out what I really want to say. And yes, I, sometimes I did, I entered something in German or I needed to look up a word. But over the time, and this is now one and a half years, without even knowing, I trained my ChatGPT to know my words and to know how I would say it. Because the way how I would say it is so different compared to a native speaker. In this video, I want to show you what the results can be if you really train your AI tool so it sounds like you. I will give you a real life example how I use it to optimize an email that I have fully written with AI. So let's dive into the optimization process of my first ever email that I have sent in the international market. This is the email. And before we dive into the content itself, let's quickly check the numbers. As you can see, I have sent this email on December 19, 2023, and this was a month after I have started my lead generation campaign on Facebook. So a month later, I have sent them an email um, uh, to 1,565 people, which is quite good. Open rate is really good. Click rate is fine, could be higher. Click to open rate also could be a bit higher. What is really high is the unsubscribe rate. I usually have a 0.5%. Let's check the email itself and as you can see this wasn't like i now send emails <laughs> so content central do don't do that there is nothing that leads the eye of my subscriber like bold content underlined content whatever so please don't do that 
So all uh, overall, from what you can see from the layout, oh my gosh, never ever want to do that again. And the email itself is fully written by AI. What I did then, I just entered the text in German and asked ChatGPT to translate it. Oh my gosh, and this is the outcome. What we do now is we, and I, I haven't done this before, so this is an experiment. We see how my personally trained ChatGPT account can now make this email better. Let me quickly say something before. I spent one and a half years to train my ChatGPT account so that it sounds like me. If your outcome is different, then you need to train your ChatGPT or whatever you use for AI content creation better and more intense. So let's see how we can optimize this email. I have a paid ChatGPT account. And the reason why I'm showing you this in my personal paid account is I want to show you what's possible for you when you invest time in train your AI tool. What I do now is I will live prompting so you can see how I act and interact with my ChatGPT. So my goal is that you understand how you insert your prompts and how you interact with your GPT so it becomes a content helper, not a content writer. I need your help optimizing, optimizing an email that I have sent back in 2023. First, I will enter the content and before we, before you do anything, I want you to ask me up to three questions to pull out all the information, information you'll need. Let's paste in the email. Let's see what's happening. To optimize that email effectively, here are three questions to clarify the direction and focus. So what I do when I need to answer questions, I use the dictation function. And if you are wondering what this is, it's not this one. This is the voice mode. Don't use the voice mode. Go to your system settings and search for dictation. You scroll down. You need to make sure that you have the dictation function toggled on. You can edit your um, language, the phone, uh, the microphone source, and a shortcut. I love the press control key, key twice. So, and once you have set this up, you can use the dictation function. And I will show you how I interact with the, the GPT because I want to want you to understand how you can do it better so your content sounds more like you. Okay, um, my primary goal for this email was to build a connection and share my end of year thoughts to my audience. And because I don't remember it exactly, because it was at the end of year 2023 email, I think the goal was to create a connection and share my thoughts, especially during this emotional time of the year when we are ending the year. Second question, what kind of tone or emotional response are you aiming for? I want you to use my tone of voice, but... Um, my audience should feel understood and I want that my audience sees that we all have struggles at the end of the year and that we all have our thoughts and I think the overall goal is to feel understood. Question three is, um, I don't want to highlight a specific call to action. Um, the email itself should be supernatural in my writing style. Like I usually write my emails and I don't want you to uh, write a new email. I just want you to optimize the email based on what you have learned about me, my tone of voice, my style and my language that I use. Great. So this is an example how I interact with my ChatGPT. 
So, and now he says, I go and optimize the email by refining the flow, deepening the emotional connection and ensuring it aligns with your natural tone and writing style, making it feel even more authentic and relatable without changing the core message. Let me work on that now. This is the email that we have. Let's quickly check the first uh, paragraph. As we wrap up this whirlwind of a year, I wanted to make to take a moment to share a bit of my journey with you because you've been an integral part of it and I'm just so grateful for that. Yes, this is definitely not what I personally would write. <laughs> Let's see what ChatGPT made of this. That's not exactly what I expect. Let's quickly try. Uh, and when I give instructions, I use the, uh, I just type in the uh, instructions. I want you to rewrite the email in a way that I would do it. So you already know my writing style and I think you also know that I would not use words like, I wouldn't use whirlwind <laughs> because I just gonna pronounce it. Um, deeply granted, just here, kick me running full speed, pure animation. I wouldn't use this, etc. Um, make it really sound like me. Okay. Now he's reworking the email. Oh yeah, that's that. That's how I would talk. As we're wrapping up this year, I felt like I couldn't just move on without sharing a bit of what's been going on because you've been a part of this journey and I'm beyond grateful for that. This is exactly what I would say. The year started with me going all in. Uh, I'm talking 16 hours a day, pushing hard to make everything work. And it did. My January launch brought in 11K, which was incredible. But honestly, I was drained, completely wrapped out. Okay. Um... Yeah, that's good. I try to be everything for everyone. <laughs> I gained weight. Jewel happened. Burnout in June. In August, things shifted. I launched my beta crop. And in here is the transition to the international market. Um, in November, rolled out uh, alongside Evelyn Vice. Perfect. Yes. So what I would do now is copy paste the email into a Google Doc and start um, work working on the email a little bit. What I would do is I would make sure that it's easy to read, like um, adding some bolds, more paragraphs, um, emojis. Just make sure it's good to read and it's my style. If you couldn't find one key takeaway from this video, here's mine. AI is not your copywriter. AI is not your content writer. AI is your little helper to create better content in less time. And if you took some time to train it, you will get the results that you want to have. You get a piece of content that really sounds like you without all the AI stuff inside. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumb up subscribe and if you want to know how to use AI for your own content creation, you can join my waiting list for my next AI content creation workshop.